This BMW has two fault codes. One says no coding data, and the other says it's not even coded for this vehicle. That's because it's a used module. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how we program and code it using nothing but a top-down scan tool and a steady battery maintainer. Let's dive in. All right, so let's get the VIN number pulled up on this thing. Use power steering control module. I'm not sure what we're about to encounter. It may or may not work. Let's see what good old Top Dawn can do. 2016. I'm getting brave here, huh? It's an F30. You turn off the AC. It's gonna cycle the key off, which is fine. Oh, it's so hot. My goodness. We all know that sound. That's the, ha ha. <laughs> the car got you. <laughs> Oh, come on. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Everything we do, there's just a lot of waiting. Look how fast that was. Amazing. Okay. So we got permanent codes in the power steering. No current coding data stored. Power steering control unit not coded for the vehicle. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can code it. It's not enough voltage. Let me go bump the battery maintainer up a little bit. Okay, I just went key on. We're gonna enter the power steering now that we have much better battery voltage, 13.8. More along the lines of what we need for this BMW. Headlights are off. Dome lights are off. AC's off, radio's off. We're not playing any music. Uh, guess we don't go there. Coding and programming. Through program, try that first, make sure it's got the right file in it. Which is power steering, so it probably has the correct file in it. Probably not a whole lot of options when it comes to power steering control modules. I mean, there's not even a lot of manufacturers, you know, a lot of them are the same in different vehicles. Kind of like transmissions. Okay, uh, you always want to read this stuff. It says the same thing over and over, but still. Confirming the transport mode. Some malfunction indicator lights have been lighted which are the normal phenomenon. I'll tell you something, these scan tools choose the coolest words to use. Phenomenon. <laughs> wow. Next. Okay, electronic power steering. Okay, let's see what we get. We're gonna go with F0 for a program. Select the file. Well, this is the, the bad part about it gives you whatever files I'm gonna select the first one select all items marked with an asterisk this one this one this one so it's gonna use all four files ignition on switch off electricity consumers so basically do what we did 
Says it could take up to an hour. Let's see. Next is to your race and flash ECU data, which is irreversible. Well, just go ahead and do it. heard the fuel pump kick on. Programming completed. Now it's going to go through and code it. Recoding has been completed. Let's check it. Function completed. Nice. To back out, we're going to clear all of our fault codes. It reads them fast. Clearing them takes a little bit of time, I guess. Okay, now we're going to turn the key off. Sorry, let me cycle the key off. Now what we want to do is go ahead and start it up. And we can see that there is no steering light. What we're going to do is we're going to back out. Now we're going to back out and check all of our fault codes again. Turn on that AC. Woo, boy. Let me tell you something. It is smoking hot. I need to get a portable AC unit. I'm investing in some uh, AC this year. We're going to figure out some things because I can't do this anymore. Everything I do, the vehicles don't run, you know, no faults, ladies and gentlemen. That's a win. That's it. Electronic power steering fixed. No more fault codes and the power steering is fully functional. This whole repair was done using a topped on Phoenix Smart, which handled the coating and calibration with no problem. If you're a tech looking for a versatile pro grade tool without the crazy price tag, Topped On might be worth a look. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe for more real world diagnostics and programming, and drop a comment below if you've programmed something like this yourself. See you on the next one.